Sometimes choosing for your own peace means that this heartbreak, this letting go of someone will really, really hurt someone. But then again, is that your responsibility? I don't think so. It's just what it is. And sometimes we just need to accept that we cannot please everybody. We cannot please everyone to be happy if it's costing our own peace. If it's costing us our own peace, if it's costing us our happiness and our bliss and our freedom. And so what you need to focus on for you is you. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how you can choose for your own path and not be affected by the emotions of others or the projections of others. So if that's something that you'd like to learn more about, then stay around. How does it feel to be alive, to be free? Are we truly in the here and now, or are we living a dream that we created? Close your eyes to see clearly. This is life on purpose. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of On Purpose by Lynn. For those of you who were new here, welcome. My name is Lynn and I share with you everything you need to know about personal development and spirituality so that you can create your best life and so that you can rise to your fullest potential. If that's something that you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe. So last week I received a question of someone who asked, how can I choose for my own path, for my own peace and deal with hurting other people along the way? And so I really had to sit down and think about this question because uh, obviously, you know, whatever will bring you peace is the right track for you. So whenever you feel like you have to go a different path or do something that will bring you peace then it's your right to do that because you deserve to live in peace actually you're meant to live in peace and so you know one thing that comes to mind is that actually we cannot control how other people will react to our actions we can influence it in how we act in kindness and compassion to the world, but we cannot control how they will feel or how they will react. So there are two parts within this thing. There are two parts. There, like, there's part of how can I influence the situation in a way that I'm not going to hurt people or my intention at least is not to hurt people or uh, uh, lessen the damage that I'm doing in the lives of other people. And then how can we detach from the importance of how other people react to us? And so the first thing I already sort of covered, it's like we have control over how we show up in the world. So if we are a positive light, if we bring love, if we bring kindness, if we bring compassion to other people, and that is our duty. That is what we are responsible for. And this is what we can control. Another part is how they will react. Now, one thing I want to say about this is that hurt people hurt people. And some other people also say you cannot hurt someone unless they were already hurt. That means that I cannot hurt you. I'm just pressing a button that was hurt within you. You cannot hurt me unless there was a button that was already there within me. So what we can ask ourselves is, why is the button there in the first place? Why? What experience brought us pain and what triggers remind us to that pain that will bring up a certain emotion in which determines how we show up in our lives? If we're not aware, of course, if we don't caught ourselves in these moments. And so we cannot hurt other people because sometimes people say stupid things to me and it doesn't hurt me, it doesn't touch me. Why? Because I've healed that part of myself. There's, there's nothing they can touch in me. You know, I've, I know who I am. I know what I stand for. And so in that sense, people cannot touch me. But they could touch me if I didn't do that work. And so this is one thing to understand 
you cannot hurt people another thing is like sometimes life just brings us towards situation where we are forced to go different paths and i do believe that sometimes people come to, into our lives for a long period of time sometimes people come into our lives who are just there to walk with us for a period of time for a short period of time and we cannot control how long people will stay in our lives or not we cannot always control heartbreaks for example this is such a big thing like sometimes when you're in a relationship you just have to decide even though you love each other you have to go different paths and it will hurt inevitably sometimes choosing for your own peace means that this heartbreak this letting go of someone will really really hurt someone but then again is that your responsibility i don't think so it's just what it is and sometimes we just need to accept that we cannot please everybody we cannot please everyone to be happy if it's costing our own peace if it's costing us our own peace if it's costing us our happiness and our bliss and our freedom and so what you need to focus on for you is you you need to focus on your path what is your highest vibrational timeline you can walk how can you align yourself with this how you can be kind to the world around you is there a way that you don't have to hurt people's feelings in a way that you bring certain things in the way that you show up in the way that you speak is there a way that you can come to to a sort of um midterm of like i don't know whatever like, like this could be so many different situations right um but like following your own path is always what you should do if that's going to bring you peace and we have to also learn to have peace with not always pleasing other people not always making other people happy with the decisions that we make in life i've had so many of those i have so many examples of this like i had to choose my own happiness and yes it caused some heartbreaks it caused some people who were disappointed because they had a different vision for my life yeah you know let those things happen allow that to happen it's not your job to control how other people are feeling or how other people are living their lives okay let me know if there were any aha moments also let me know if you have any questions because i'll be answering your questions if i feel really aligned and vibrationally feel like i'm ready for that i'm answering your questions that you are dropping in the comments and thank you so much for liking this video and for sharing this video with anyone who you think could benefit from this message right now maybe your friends maybe your community maybe your family members this year i'm making it my mission to bring this content to as many people as possible so that we can all rise to our highest potential and live in freedom together if you haven't already subscribed to my channel be sure to do so as you will be the first to watch all of my videos every mondays wednesdays and fridays so that you can create your best life remember we have such an exciting future to look forward to even if it doesn't seem like it right now thank you so much for being here and i'm looking forward to see you in the next video bye for now